Is this how it starts? It's a ghost in my fucking room. <laughs> Paranormal activity. I need to put the date in the middle of the screen. Paranormal activity. The, the curly haired one. Fuck. Get it together, Shania. Welcome back to my channel guys. In today's video, I'm going to be applying the hair paint wax to my naturally curly hair. I've actually done it before and I actually did like it before. I did it around when it was popular. Now, it's not so popular, but your girl gonna do it because it's cute. So pretty much I'm just going to style my hair like with the normal products that I do. It's not a lot of products, but I'm gonna show you guys as I go along. So here's the first one. It is Garnier Fructis. A leave-in conditioner is something pretty cheap. It's not too expensive. So that's pretty good if you guys are like trying to do something on the budget. All right, what's up, y'all? I had to come on here and do a little voiceover work for y'all because the rain was not trying to let your girl be great. But pretty much all I'm doing here is taking that leave-in conditioner and applying it to my hair. And then I'm going to take a brand called Eco Styler Gel. I don't know why I said that. Like, y'all probably don't know what that is. But <laughs> I'll take an Eco Styler Gel and put that on there as well. So all I'm really doing is just combining those two on my hair, using a little bit of water to style it before I actually apply the wax. The shrinkage is a little real on one side just because there's more product on one side and water than the other. But aside from that, I am fast forwarding here. But just to let you guys know, all I'm really doing is just focusing on my curl definition to make sure they're exactly the way I want them before I apply the wax. All right, so I am going to let my hair dry just a little bit because it is a water-based product that I'm using. Like the hair paint wax does have water as one of the ingredients. So I don't want to have water and then the water from that combining together because it's not going to help the product to really stick to your hair and then you have to use twice as much then it's more prone to start like transferring different places into like your bed sheets and stuff and we don't we don't need it we don't need it, we don't need it. <sighs> y'all there's a ghost in my fucking room <laughs> <laughs> Protect me. Hold up, we taking this off real quick. Hold up, take this, take this off. This whole pile of clothes just fell over. Like, I have my stuff prepped to do laundry, and it just fell over out of the blue. Like, it wasn't leaning, nothing. There's a ghost in my room. It's official. This is about to be paranormal activity. Like, I need to put the date in the middle of the screen. How do you do it? Like, <laughs> paranormal activity. Paranormal activity. <gasps> Uh, the the curly haired one that's what we'll call it the curly haired one is this how it starts like okay for, forget that <laughs> came in a box like this i don't know what is up what is down so came in a box like this it kind of reminds me of a pound cake bruh <laughs> i really want to start with orange bro i really do shorty i really do i don't know I wish I could ask y'all, like, pick a color. <laughs> We're gonna start off with red. Just cause. The ingredients are, of course, in another language. This is the Mofajang brand. So if you wanna know the exact ingredients, you can definitely look it up. That's what I did. It's nothing too terrible, but it does have rubbing alcohol in it. And it does have um, hydrogen peroxide in it. So if you have sensitive hair to that, like your hair might break off if you get in contact with those type of things. Your skin is sensitive to it. I wouldn't really recommend this because that's what's in it. But aside from that, it does say it's non-damaging to the hair. So opened it. Does not look like red. <laughs> this does not look like red. Okay, man. Oh no. I don't think this is red. <laughs> I don't think this is red, bro. Okay. So you can push that back in there. At least it doesn't smell bad. So I got this pink towel here. 
just in case I need to wipe my hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so it does kind of look a little bit more red once you scoop it. It just, it looks like hot pink. It looks more like hot pink. So the rain did pick back up here, so I'm just gonna hop in and explain to you guys what's going on. So I just took some wax and I'm now applying that over my curls. That's exactly why I actually did want to focus on defining my curls in the beginning so that my entire focus can be on applying the wax right now. I'm doing this with my bare hands because I really just don't care, so. And it comes off with water and soap if you really, really want it to come off like extra quick, so, you know. It's all good. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping at all. Please do not do this with a shirt that you do not want to get stained because it's going to get stained. As you can see, I have this shirt on. It is a very dark shirt. It's probably going to show this color very easily, but I anticipated that and I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so doesn't it look pink? Like, I'm pretty sure it looks pink. I'll watch it like later when I'm editing it, but on like the camera as I'm looking at it, it looks pink. So cute though, so cute. Pro tip for anyone that has a darker hair color like myself, you can see as I'm distributing the wax in the beginning, it's not immediately covering up my hair color. That is because it is a darker hair tone. But to fix that, all you have to do is just make sure you're evenly distributing the product throughout your hair and that you're also going back and adding to any little places you may have missed or may not have gotten any wax to begin with. You know what? Burgundy. Burgundy. That's what I'm getting. Also, another tip for you guys too, if you haven't already noticed, if you do have a darker hair color, the color of the wax is going to appear a little bit darker than it normally would if you had lighter hair. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit darker here for me versus what was actually in the jar. Definitely starting off by wiping my hands all over this section. I know this might be cringe to some of y'all. I'm so sorry, but your girl ain't got time to be sitting over here being neat when it's gonna come out the same way. And I'm gonna clean it up and it's not gonna. Oh, 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 oh my God, it's in my eye. I'm gonna go blind, oh my God. Stop being such a drama queen. Red eyelashes wear. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, you know. Okay, God, we hear you. That was a little scary. I was like, I'm gonna go blind. Can we move this out of my face? Like. dry a little bit different and I did have my ring light set to warm so it did make my face look really really orange but my face is not the star of the show here my hair was so I absolutely love this look I hope you guys did too if you did comment down below and let me know so I know <laughs> you know 
<laughs> but without further ado, you know, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you got to the end of this video, because it must have been something you liked if you got this far. Let's be honest. But I'll see you guys in my next one. All right, welcome back. Water, the one that I got is a water-based uh, type of product. I don't want water and water because it's going to make it like, I don't want water. Fuck. Get it together, Shania. The only thing I would definitely say, fuck. All right, so we're going to start off with red. So the only thing that is in here that I would tell you guys to like really be, is this like too high? Like what the heck? It came in this. Did I just show my address? Oh my God. 